what is up monet gang and welcome back to my channel now before you do anything else make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you get notified each and every time i post my videos on the way so this video is going to be a quick video on how i'm going to make some tote bags at home now this was the original video like i was just only going to make this one tote bag because i saw it on pack sun or something for like 40 dollars, and i'm like dang that's too much for a tote bag so i went to hobby lobby and i found one and excuse the noise in the background that's my printer trying to you know clean itself but i went to hobby lobby and i found some tote bags and then one day i went okay so my video cut off but basically i was saying this was only supposed to be for one tote bag but i went to two other stores and found some more tote bags and i'm just show y'all two different methods to make them Okay, so method one, I'm going to be using my Cricut, and I'm going to use iron on heat transfer vinyl, and I got all of my um, designs off of Google and Pinterest, so I'll be sure to link them down below, and right here, you just see me resizing it. You can um, measure your tote bag if you want, like, a certain size. I really didn't mind, so I'm just eyeing it out to see how big I want it, and then I'm going to press it on with the heat press, but if you don't have a heat press, you can use the iron. Okay, so this is the first tote bag I got. It was $3, and it was buy one, get one free at Forever 21. So I'm just about to press it. I'm going to put another um, Teflon sheet on top of it, and I'll probably press it for like 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, so I got this tote bag from Hobby Lobby. I will not recommend it. It's good quality and everything, but it was the wrong price. It rung up for $8, but everything else, like all the other colors, was only $1 to $4. I'm not sure. I think because of the color, it was more like this is a more, you know, popular color. But I also got a black one and the black one was only like $3. Okay, so this is the black one I was talking about. And like I said, I got it from Hobby Lobby. And this one is bigger than the last one. And it even has pockets on the back. So the only thing I can think of for the other one being more is the color. Okay, so for my next method, I just print it straight from my computer. You can use Photoshop or Cricut. I don't know how this one's going to turn out because these colors are not it, but we're about to see. So when I'm using images that I found online, the only thing I have to do is remove the background. You could use the website remove.bg. Um, make sure to flip the image and you can print it straight from your computer. You don't have to tweak it or anything, but if you feel like you have to redesign it or fix it, you can use Cricut or Photoshop. So I did one with the Cricut just to show y'all like it'll come out the same. Once you print it out from your Cricut, be sure to turn off the ad bleed and then select like the system dialog, system preferences, I think. And always make sure you do the best quality so the colors can come out right and vibrant and select the paper you have in your printer and just print it like that. Okay, so here are all three of the designs. Only thing I don't like about the Cricut is it does print out the black outline, but I'm gonna just cut that out. And then here's the other two. And now it's time to heat press them. So these are how the ones from Michaels came. They're $1.99 and they're made for sublimation. So when I sublimate, you know, you just face it, face side down, put the tape on there and then put another Teflon sheet on there and I'm gonna heat press it for 60 seconds. how michael's done betrayed me like how how i'm still about to wear it but what the do i need to press it for longer hold on okay so this is the first one i did and it was messed up i tried to put it back on there and yeah, that's why it has like this little ugly shadow effect because obviously you're not going to put it in the same spot the second time. So yeah, I just messed that one up. But I did like a quick little Google search and I just learned that I needed more pressure. So I added two pieces of fabric and I folded them into a square and then I did this one. But then I realized that was too much like fabric and I tried to move it after like 10 seconds of pressing it. And yeah, it gave me this shadow effect because the paper moved, but I actually like it. Then I did the third design with only one piece of fabric, and I love this design. The only thing I messed up was these lines right here, but I'm pretty sure that's from my printer bleeding or like the Cricut when I showed y'all I had the black outline. Then I realized I had another bag, 
so i made this design and yeah this one came out perfect it's still it looks orange but that's because it still has the piece of fabric in there and i literally just folded it up like this it didn't bleed through or anything and yeah, this is what it came out like okay so here are the other ones and remember i told y'all the black one was way bigger like just look at them and then on the back just to show y'all the pockets two deep pockets they go all the way down to this lining thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe